Hey, this is Russ. Time for an update. Yeah. <laughs> I went to Costco and grocery shopping this week, just like I typically do. And I noticed that I was moving a lot faster at Costco than I typically do. You know, I, I usually get a, co uh, a Costco shopping cart and, um, and that helps stabilize me as I'm walking. And many times uh, I will put my forearms on the, on the, uh, the handle of the shopping cart and uh, just kind of lean in and, and walk down the aisle because those carts are pretty tall. But uh, I've been trying my best not to do that lately and just to kind of hold it with my hands and push it along and move. So I was moving along with just holding it and I noticed that I was keeping up the pace with everybody else. <laughs> Right. Now, I didn't make the entire horseshoe around there um, at the same pace as everyone. I, I probably did, uh, I would say, the first half of it um, moving along with the same pace as everyone. All right. So that's an accomplishment in itself, I think. I am, I am walking faster. Okay. Now, at home, you're going to often find me with a cane. All right. Now, I don't usually always use the cane, but I usually have it nearby somewhere. Because you know, you know when I'm when I'm bending my knee with the jazz unit and I'm doing my flexion exercises, I I don't keep my feet on the ground like they typically tell you to do it. <laughs> I have the, the I'm, I'm sitting on the recliner chair and I have the recliner pulled all the way out so my my feet can pop up, and I usually have my feet on there uh, and I I'll bend with that there and then put the the uh, jazz unit on. So I'll show you a photo here of how I do that. And um, I, I'm able to do this because, you know, I'm not, I'm not a new knee patient anymore. This is uh, 16 and a half months, almost 17 months now. So I can bend fairly well, but I'm just trying to maintain uh, my 120 degrees of flexion. So I'll pull up and I'll just kind of lean back, um, bring my leg up, put the jazz unit on, and I am maxing that out to its full potential, all right? It can't go any further. I'm, I'm as far as that thing can go. And I'll hold that between 20 minutes to 30 minutes long, all right? So usually when, when I get out of that, I can't just stand up immediately and start walking because you've been, you've been pushed in there for the last 20 to 30 minutes. So uh, you'll see me often uh, hobbling a little bit right after that if I have to go to the washroom or I have to get something in the kitchen or something like that. Uh, I'll have my cane with me at that point, all right? So it's just for, for stability and just in case, right? And, and even when I walk outside, uh, I don't really technically need the cane, but you'll find me with the cane. And I'll have it in my hand, but I don't push down hard on it. It's just there to kind of stabilize me in case I need it. So it's a, a just in case thing. I could get rid of it altogether and walk without it. I know that. And um, I know many people do, and that's how you essentially wean yourself off the cane. But... I still have it just in case. Uh, I feel I just feel more comfortable with it. And quite frankly, when I get out of my car and I have the cane with me, people don't look at me as much. <laughs> I, I used to, and I still do if I didn't have the cane. I, I have people that will just kind of look at me like, what are you doing in the handicapped spot? You don't need that, <laughs> all right? So I... I like having a cane for that purpose, and, and I'll just throw it in the shopping cart anyways. It's not like I'm using it, but, you know, getting back and forth um, from the car to the store, out of the store, back to the car, I have the cane. And I don't push down hard. Like I said, I, I, it's often just uh, hanging in midair and just kind of gliding along with me, uh, but it is there, all right? So here's another thing that I've noticed this past uh, week, week and a half, my my knee seems to be clicking. Now, I've read this in, in other people's uh, threads on, on various forums that uh, sometimes they hear their knee click, sometimes they can feel it click. I seem to be feeling it clicking, and then sometimes I hear it too. Okay, so I'm touching my knee right now, and as I'm extending it, I can kind of feel it kind of click into place as I extend it. I don't think I felt that before, and um, I don't think there's a need to concern about it, like it's it's out of whack or something like that. It's, it's just that um, you know, it, it's early in the morning right now. What time is it right now? It's just seven o'clock in the morning, um, and um, I notice it more in the morning after I wake up, and then um, it, it seems to go away for a while, and sometimes it'll come back uh, for the rest of the day. So I don't know how you guys have that if do you feel a click in your knee um is it something to be of concern uh anyways if, if you have a click in your knee 
comment below let me know all right tell me tell me if uh if this is abnormal or what i i've never really noticed that before but i have noticed it now i i would say if, if the click was there and i was losing range i would probably be a little concerned about it but i'm, I'm not i don't know why this is clicking a little bit and, and even when i'm coming down the stairs you know early in the morning sometimes i have a click oh let me mention one more thing too it has nothing to do with my knee but if you've ever noticed, sometimes my, my eyes seem a little bloodshot or red. It's only because I, a, lot of, a lot of times I do these videos right as I wake up. And, you know, I'll, I'll get up, I'll go in the shower, take a shower. Sometimes I get, uh, <laughs> sometimes I get shampoo in my eyes. <laughs> and then I come down here and I, I do my, my videos for you guys. So if you ever see my eyes look red, it's, it's not because of anything you might think. It's, it's usually because... Some shampoo's gotten in my eyes or it's so early in the morning that I, I'm just not 100% awake yet, <laughs> okay? So uh, I have noticed, too, that if I publish my videos early in the morning, you know, if it comes out at 7 o'clock, um, I'm able to catch some of you guys maybe before you head off to work. <laughs> so I try my best to get it out early in the mornings, but there are times that I don't have a video ready for you. And so, um, I'll uh, like, for instance, yesterday I didn't publish a video. And the reason is because... Um, it, was, it was Chinese New Year's uh, yesterday. My my wife took off of work, um, and uh, so we, we went and did things. So I didn't have a video ready for you. So I, I could do one and then publish it later, but I, I just feel that um, doing a publication early in the morning is probably best. And then those who, who can see it before they head off to work can do that. And then, of course, those who are working and then come back, they can watch it after they get back home. So... I try my best to try to publish between 7 and 7.30, something like that. Try to get it in there before you guys head out of, out of the house and head to work. <laughs> All right. All right. Anyways, today is Saturday, so uh, I'm going to try to get this. Oh, it's already 7.05 now by the time I render the video and everything, and it's uploaded. Probably about 7.30, I would tend to think this thing's going to be published. So anyways, that's all I have for you today, and I will talk to you guys next time.